Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Basak from Sri Ramchandra Medical College. To begin with, quality of life is an important and often overlooked parameter in glaucoma management. Quality adjusted vision years is a new concept that targets the maintenance of quality of life. Our aim was to assess the quality of life in glaucoma patients using a novel questionnaire, which consists of three different types of scales, namely the generic, the vision specific, and the glaucoma specific scales. This was a prospective case control study done at a tertiary care center in Chennai from April to December 2022, recruiting about 30 patients with and 30 without glaucoma. Primary glaucoma diagnosed patients above the age of 40 without any other ocular pathologies were included in this study. This questionnaire focused on generic domains such as health, social functioning and dependency as well as glaucoma specific domains such as central and near vision, peripheral vision and dark adaptation and glare. This consisted of a total of 25 questions with 5 options for each question assigned a score of 1 to 5. Higher scores indicated difficulty with a certain task and since 3 questions pertain to driving which wasn't a common activity for all our participants, an index score was calculated for each question, which was the ratio of the patient score to the maximum possible score for that question and was compared between the domains and the component questionnaires. So there was no difference noted between the mean ages and genders of both cases and controls. Most of the patients fell into the moderate glaucoma category, whereas patients above the age of 70 mostly fell in the severe category. Statistically significant difference in the mean scores were observed between the cases and controls, except in the mild group. Among all domains, better quality of life with lower scores were noted in the general and mental health domains, whereas dark adaptation and glare had higher scores, indicating poorer quality of life. Mild and moderate cases assigned higher scores to dark adaptation and glare, whereas the severe, the severe glaucoma patients had difficulty with peripheral vision. So popular questionnaires like the SF6D and the GQL15 focused on either the generic or the glaucoma specific domains, but our study amalgamated the strength of both. The NEI VFQ25 was a good compilation, but lacked a very important aspect, that is the dark adaptation and glare. So glaucoma being a chronic disease tends to cause a combination of visual, psychological and social dysfunction. Similar to previous studies, a consistent pattern of decline in quality of life was noted with increasing visual field loss. Scores of the early glaucoma group and controls were significantly lower than that of the moderate and severe glaucoma groups, in line with what was found with the meta-analysis done by Wang et al. In conclusion, physicians often limit glaucoma management to objective measures and tend to overlook the functional vision and its effect on quality of life. The hybrid questionnaire gives a wholesome assessment of various domains of quality of life and highlights the difficulties faced by uh, glaucoma patients on a daily basis. Along with objective tests, patient reported outcomes may be employed to raise awareness. This study had certain limitations. It mainly used objective measures which were easily influenced by age, sex, cultural beliefs, etc. There was no consideration of education level and occupation, and there was a significant lacking, uh, uh, a significant deficit of uh, psychophysical and performance-based tests, like the Pelly Robertson contrast sensitivity charts. This was a data collected from a tertiary care hospital and may not be representative of the entire population as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, new perspective on glaucoma and another limitation I found that the financial uh, background also economic uh, I mean the cost of glaucoma drugs anti-glaucoma drugs that could also be a part which could add in it we'll include that now thank you